Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to customize Taste Shopify theme in 2023. The Taste theme offers a stunning and immersive design, making it a, per a perfect choice for businesses aiming to provide a unique shopping experience. So, in this tutorial, we'll guide you through the essential steps to personalize your Taste theme and make it distinctly for you. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and access your Shopify admin. So to do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section, simply type shopify.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you will be taken to their home screen or main page. Once you are here, of course, make sure to scroll down, read more information about the website, familiarize yourself with the website if you are new here. And of course, here is the pricing. If you are interested to see, you can pause the video and check it all out by your own, the prices and the features. Here, that's monthly and that's yearly. So if you have an account, make sure to go to the top right corner and log in into your account. And if you don't have an account, click on start a free trial to create an account for yourself. Of course, your free trial will get you uh, three days on any store that you opened. So let me just go and click on login here for me. And that will log me right away into my store because I've already logged into my account. And as I said, I just like started my free trial, as you can see. So switch to a play plan. You get three uh, first three months for $1 per month, $20 credits after you connect or buy a custom domain. And as you can see, my free trial is just started and it will end after three days. So once uh, I am here, of course, once I am at my admin dashboard here, of course, make sure to finish the setup guide. It's uh, very important to finish it. As you can see, we have nine tasks. It's very simple. You'll have to set up your online store, uh, store settings and launch your online store. Of course, if you open any task, uh, uh, you will find like, uh, or any headings, you'll find like some tasks to do on it. So the last ones, of course, will be like pick a plan and remove your store password to publish it. But this will come to the end after finishing everything. So once you are here, of course, go to this left panel and click on online store. Once you click on it, you will be taken right away to the themes page. If you are not there, make sure to go and click on the themes. And once you are here, of course, you will find yourself here on this themes option or the themes page. So simply choose the taste theme that you have. Of course, if you didn't find it in the theme library, you can simply go and add your theme. So for you, your taste for your taste theme, of course, you'll be able to add it as a zip file or connect it from GitHub or simply visit the theme store's example and choose one of the taste theme that you like. As an example, you'll be able to choose any of those. Uh, there are some free ones and there are some paid ones depending on whatever you want. So for me, let's just pretend that this crave is the taste theme. And of course, I'll just simply click on customize and, and my taste theme. So click on customize. Once we click on that, we will find ourselves here. So our screen is divided into three parts. We have the left part, the middle part, and the right part. So the middle part is just for overviewing whatever you're going to customize. And the left spot here is just for customizing as the same as right. But of course, it will change depending on a lot of things. As you can see, they are telling me here, they are telling you here if you want to indo, redo, or save, or even toggle inspector. Those options are very important. If you want, like as an example, if you make a change and you didn't like it, you want to go back, you can always go indo. And if you want to have it back, you can go redo. Of course, you can use like control Z, control Y, control S, or control shift I to do all of those options. And of course, let's start by uh, saying how to customize. So we have here three sections that we can customize. First option is, uh, or three options. First option is sections, and uh, theme settings, and finally app embeds. So in the sections, we'll be able to edit or customize the header. We can add sections, remove sections, change the order of it, and a lot of other stuff. We can change the templates or customize the templates, add some slides, add some sections on it. And we can even customize the footer however we want. And of course, on the taste theme, as we said, uh, it's a perfect choice for business aims. Provides like a shopping experience, provides a unique shopping experience. So basically, you will have to aim on your customization on the products page a lot. So basically, once you click on any uh, block here or any 
section, you'll be able to customize more on the right. So this is kind of the headings and this is like the inside the headings, what you will find. So basically here you can do the most of your customization. So other than that, you'll be able to customize the theme settings, like including logo, uh, if you want to change the logo, uh, colors, you can customize the colors like palettes to match your brands or preferred asset as aesthetic, of course. Uh, you'll be able to change like the layout if you want to choose like the arrangements of product listing, collections and other page elements. You can change the topography if you want to. This will be from here, of course, you'll be able to set the font styles for headings, body text, and other elements. Uh, you'll be able to add animations to your uh, images if you're gonna add some. Uh, you can add some buttons, as an example, or customize some buttons. As an example, uh, to if they click here, they will be taken to that page or something like that. And you can, of course, add a lot of other things. So that's a lot of things that we can go through. If we go through all of it, it will take us literally more than one hour. So basically, you'll have to go and check it all by your own. It's very simple, especially when you get used to it. When you customize like a lot of themes, and you can simply just go and download a random theme and just try all those options on it to test everything out, to have some knowledge on it. And then you can go to your test team and do the customization that you like. So I cannot tell you what to do exactly because the customizations made by you, you can simply do whatever you want on it, whatever you feel is good for your uh, theme. So other than that, of course, we have the third option, which is amp embed. Here you'll be able to add some apps, like uh, some payments provider apps, uh, like some uh, social media apps or any other apps. Uh, of course, you can always go and click view apps. This will take you to the store app or app store. And here, as you can see, you'll find a lot of apps. We have a lot of pages. You can even simply search the app here. As an example, we can go and type Instagram or something like that. We will find that's a good app to integrate like our Instagram feed into our store and etc. So whatever you want, you'll find it on the app store and you'll be able to add it or customize it into your theme. And that's going to be basically it. Once you finish your changes, make sure to click on save at the top right option. And of course, before you go online, uh, make or before making your store live, uh, make sure to test the functionality navigation and check out process to ensure a seamless customer experience of your store and of course once you're satisfied with the changes click on publish here at the top right corner again and you'll be able to publish your store and make customization your customization live as you can see i cannot be doing that and unless i remove the password and i'll not be able to remove the password unless i choose a plan so for you once you choose a plan you'll be able to publish your store so that's going to be it for me today. If you reached the sponsor of this video, congratulations. You've successfully personalized your taste Shopify theme in 2023. And of course, your star now reflects your brand unique styles and offering. So that's going to be it for me today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.